Part of what drew Glenn Senk to a career in retail was the showmanship it involves, an aspect he recognized from years as a successful competitive equestrian. He was nationally ranked in his teens. Glenn earned his MBA at Chicago Booth in 1980 and joined Bloomingdale's as an assistant buyer the next year. He began at the ground level, his first task removing price tags from a batch of defective ceramics. But within seven years, he rose to senior vice president and managing director of Bloomingdale's by mail. Glenn took progressively challenging roles in retail, from chief executive of the International Merchandise and Marketing Group for the London retailer Habitat, to Williams Sonoma, where he set the strategy and groundwork for the rapid expansion and sales growth of Pottery Barn. In 1993, Glenn left to start his own business. But as he was developing the plans and raising capital, he met Dick Hain, founder of Urban Outfitters, a chain of stores that offers an eclectic mix of merchandise. The chemistry was instant, and Hain persuaded Glenn to table his plans and head anthropology. Glenn turned the single store prototype into what is now a billion dollar plus retail operation with 146 stores, a catalog, and website. By fiscal year 2007, sales were over $650 million. In May 2007, the firm promoted him to CEO, heading up the Urban Outfitters, Anthropology, and Free People brands. In 2008, the firm launched Leaf's Daughter, a sophisticated wholesale brand of women's apparel and accessories, and introduced its fourth retail concept, Terrain, an upscale garden center. A bridal business is poised to open by Valentine's Day next year. Glenn's success is evident at the bottom line. Despite the challenging economic environment, Urban Outfitters saw total company sales for the first quarter of 2010 increase 25% over the first quarter of last year including direct-to-consumer sales that soared 42% for the quarter. In recognition of his outstanding achievements in retail leadership, the 2010 Distinguished Corporate Alumni Award goes to Glenn Sank.